I have a bad feeling about this. I don't sense anything. One long angry line later. Hello boys and girls, it's me, Wilson, once again, your friendly neighborhood casual electric unicycle rider. How the hell is it going? Please stay tuned to the end of this video because we're going to be going through the whole unboxing process, uh, hopefully from the delivery right down to the test riding. This video was made a day before. I'm so excited to get this wheel. Why didn't I choose the Master? Why didn't I choose the S22? Why didn't I choose the Big Old Hero? Oh, believe me, I was choosing, I was choosing, and I was choosing, guys. It was, it's really hard. Uh, these wheels are getting really expensive, really expensive. I need something with suspension, guys. I test drove it, and I was impressed by it, so I had to buy it, guys. It feels just right. I'll give you my final opinion at the end of this video. Please stay tuned and give my bird a hug. All right, guys. What's up? All right, so the wheel didn't come on the day I expected, but it's supposed to be here today. But yesterday I got my other package, which has the accessories for the V11. So I've already gone and kind of unboxed it, but I'll show you what's in the package. All right, so the first things first is we have the V11 seat. Okay, so here is, here is the seat right here. So this already has Velcro on it already. So that's good. Put that there. We also got the Emotion V11 pads right here. And this does not seem to have any, yeah, it's all glue on the back. So I am gonna have to put some uh, Velcro. Right away, I can tell these pads are really nice and soft. They feel really good. Spongy. Uh, last but not least in our accessories is the InMotion Honeycomb, Honeycomb, Honeycomb pedals. Comes with uh, the rods, some washers, uh, the screw, thingamabobbers. So these are the pedals right here. They feel really nice. So we're going to wait very patiently for the delivery man to come by and give us our wheel. Guys, I think, I think it's here right around the corner. Hello. Hey, how you doing? It's here. Okay guys, it's here. It is here. And the scheduled delivery was to be here before afternoon, exactly. And this came five minutes right after. So good job FedEx, good job. 
the guy asked me, he goes, you're into electric bikes or something? No, man, this is better. This is an electric unicycle. So what we're gonna do is unbox this now and we'll see what's in the box. So here we go. So guys, there's a box within the box, right? So what we wanna do is just in case there's an issue with the wheel, we're, just, we're gonna preserve this box just in case we need to send the wheel back. Look at this box, guys. This is like the most professional looking box I've seen from an electric unicycle company. It looks fairly advertised well right on the box. It looks like something that you could sell at Walmart or at a high-tech electronic store, guys. This is pretty cool. So let's open it. So what we have here is a bunch of tools here. Okay. Uh, we have the charging cable connections. Uh, right here we have, oh, it's an official in motion pump. Uh, the charger. We are going to take out the wheel, guys. All right. All right, so here is the wheel. Oh, inside we have some E-Wheels wrist guards. That's probably my seventh pair of wrist guards, guys. <laughs> take a look at that. Here is the V11, guys. Look at that. What I'm gonna do real quick is just kind of clean up and then we're gonna get right into the setup and everything. So we'll be right back. Okay. Please active your vehicle. All right, so we're gonna have to activate Please this. Please active your vehicle. All right, so what we're gonna do. Please is, active your vehicle. And we need to activate the vehicle. Right there, V11. Yep. So this is gonna show you your serial number and where you live and all that. Uh, it shows you the PSI, gives you a PSI sheet. Right there, we'll press this. And there we go. I'm gonna take it off the charger and we're going to figure out how to pump up the suspension. Okay, so we're gonna pump up the suspension and we're gonna pump up the bottom suspension first. This is gonna be the easiest way to pump up the suspension at first and then the hardest part will be the top suspension where we're gonna take off the covers. But what we need to do is pump these bottom chambers to our liking uh, according to our rider weight and I am about 180 pounds right now. I am losing weight now because I go to the gym, uh, but I'm gonna keep it at 180. So let's do this. Uh, hey Siri, what is 180 pounds in kilograms? 180 pounds is 81.65 kilograms. Okay, so I fall within the weight of 80 to 90 kilograms. So 120 to 130 PSI. Okay, so we're gonna twist these little knobs off. I'm gonna be very easy with twisting this on because I don't want to shred uh, the screw. Okay, so that side's done. Put these caps back on. Okay, we're gonna flip it over to the other side. Here we go. Okay, so I didn't see anywhere in the instruction manual about the top suspension. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something in the other instructions. Fit this in here, so we're gonna have to take these screws out. All right, so there are screws in the front and back on each side of these saddles. So I'm gonna take the ones out in the back real quick, or there's actually there's one screw near the handlebars. 
Okay, Oop, that screws a little bit longer at the trolley handle area. We're gonna do this side. Okay, so you gotta put the pedal down to have this come out. All right. Okay, so you see right here, so this is where we need to pump up our uh, upper chamber here. All right, so I put 150 PSI, so it should be half of what you put in there. So we're gonna pump up the upper chamber. So yeah, this is a little bit of a lengthy setup for the suspension. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, especially for the saddle removal. But there's only four screws. All right, so I'm gonna flip. All right, I gotta put these screws back in over here. Okay, that is done, my friends. Saddle is on. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side. All right, so it took me a little second to figure out how to take these pedals out, but I learned it how to reverse put on a pedal by learning how to take it off the pedal uh, from the <laughs> spike pedal manual here. So we, we're gonna use this four millimeter wrench, this here, to take off this nut here on the bottom. So we're gonna do that first. Okay. So there's that nut there and should be able to bang this out. Uh, all right, my, my battery died on my GoPro. Um, I, I'm having a hell of a time with these pedals. Um, we're installing the spike pedals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rod Feed it through first, then put in the washer at the end here, and just really carefully not pull that rod all the way out. And then we're gonna slide the, the flat side of the rod, fitting the, the groove, the flat groove inside the pedal hanger. Just make sure that fits. And I'm gonna try to get this other washer to connect to to the rod here. There we go. So we got that. So the other washers in there. Uh, they give you a couple extra washers. So we have these gaskets here now that we're going to put at the end of the pedals. Okay, so I'm gonna screw that in. I was, I'm a little concerned about how loose that is because of the washer, but, 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 you don't get that play when you open up the pedals. So that's pretty good. So now we gotta put a screw on the bottom, that in place. Nice and tight. So I'm not concerned about the play in the in that anymore. So that's perfect, perfect. So we're gonna do the other side real quick. All right, so we're gonna do the tire pressure now. Um, the tire is rated for inflated to 200 i'm sorry 35 to 45 psi which is 2.4 to 3.1 bars if you're doing it that way i'm going to probably pump it up to uh, i'm going to probably pump it up to 28. so what you want to do is have this adapter or ha have the tire what do you call this thing the, the nozzle where you put air in bring it center with the suspension and you should be able to easily put that adapter in 
And now I'm gonna pump it up with my air pump from here. All right, so we're gonna use our electric pump. Uh, I gotta bring down the PSI a little bit more. All right, guys, so we're gonna go over and explore together the features that are on this thing. Um, you might hear my bird squawking half to death over here because she wants to get out of the cage, but let's just explore and get to know our electric unicycle better. So this is the kickstand right back here. And really easy, you just flip it up. That's not going anywhere. That kickstand's not going anywhere, guys. And you just press it down and you just kind of have to make sure that kickstand is straight with the electric unicycle or it's really easy to tip over. Uh, I can see this being a problem if you're trying to do a kickstand on a uneven ground. But uh, yeah, let's flip it up. Uh, again, back here is the charging ports and a USB port. So we will make sure that's in there. Seems a little loose. It doesn't seem like it would stay in there good enough. Um, this is the trolley handle. Okay, with the trolley handle, there's a little bit of a kind of like a trigger so there we go so that's the trolley handle Let's see do I like it yeah not too bad not too shabby and then when you want to put it back down you press the the little trigger over here set it back in this is uh, the lift switch right here uh, let's do a I guess a lift test. Let's see if the tire is seated. Or maybe not. Okay, so you can't do a spin test with this? But anyways, this is the light right here. Um, looks pretty good. This is the brake lights back here. I don't know if it has turn signal lights. Yep, it has like blinking. <clears throat> I think our setup is done. Let's see how this feels uh, underneath our legs for the first time. So it's really high up, guys. Woo, I gotta get used to those high pedals. Um, it's light enough. I'm gonna put the pads on there, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, I gotta get used to how high that is. Oh yeah, the suspension is pretty cool, man. Okay guys, so having some issue with the pads. Um, maybe you guys know of, of a fix, but the glue on my Velcro is pretty damn good and it's not sticking to the V11 shell. It's very flexible. It, it's gonna come right off if I, you know, do a pendulum swing. Um, so let me show you something here. Another thing if, that you might be aware of is the trolley handle, um, the handle itself is made of rubber and it slides off very easily, but I'm sure I can glue that up. And uh, I found out how to turn on the lights. Um, obviously you press the power button. Duh. So now we're gonna attempt to put on the seat this has Velcro on it. So let's see, how, how is this supposed to go on? Just like that? Oh, that's easy. Okay. So we're gonna actually put that on. And we'll let that cure overnight. The only issue I see being is if I want to try to lift this wheel. Uh, let's see how it feels to sit down on it. Oh yeah. 
I, sh I probably shouldn't have the wheel near sharp objects like this, uh, like the scissors and this knife. So start, I can get used to this, man. All right, so I just sat on this. So what is it like to lift, lift this up? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that works. So I could probably, let me turn this off for a minute. So let's say if I want to bring the wheel downstairs, I can lift it from right here. Perfect. And I can still trolley with this. Let's see. Yep, I can still trolley with the wheel. Actually, I'll tell you what, this is what we'll do. Let's take off the side pads for now. We'll take off the side pads for now. Oh, yeah, that side sticks. That side sticks, but the other side don't stick. All right, we'll just, what we'll do is I'm gonna buy some more Velcro. Okay, guys, this is end of chapter two. Peace out. All right, guys, what's up? It's the next day. Finally got these pads on. These pads, pads are on now. Uh, I took some uh, rubbing alcohol along the saddle and uh, seems like it's sticking okay. Uh, I didn't get much out of the Velcro, so I'm gonna need to buy some more, but so far, so good. It seems sticky enough. Um, yeah, so I am waiting for a compatriot of mine to get here. Uh, he too also has a surprise wheel to show us and uh, I think you might like that as well. Okay guys, so I'm waiting just a little bit more for my friend to get here. That might be him right there. But guys, I just took this on a, like a little lap. This thing is like smooth as butter guys, smooth as butter. That's the man right there. That's the main man right there. So uh, I think he brought his wheel. Let's find out. Okay, so my friend wasn't uh, there for that long. Uh, he didn't bring his wheel. So, because uh, I had to give him something. So uh, what we're gonna do is, I had to actually come back home because <laughs> the battery on my GoPro died. So we're gonna just do a quick ride around the neighborhood. Uh, I'll just do some shots with the wheel uh, going through some you know rocky areas here uh, you know bumpy areas but let me kind of show you that these pedals are really high here so you kind of really have to mount on it right you'll feel the wheel kind of pressing down when you press down so you can always preload by kind of pressing down on this side your dominant side and then there you go I hear a dog barking. Okay, so we have some bumps over here, potholes. I wanna test this out. Whoa, sorry. All right, so we got some potholes up here. So let's see how this wheel does on these potholes. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Usually I have to bend my knees a lot in this area here. Here, here's some more rocky terrain. I'm gonna try to avoid the really deep potholes. But yeah, you can really feel the suspension working on this fucking A, man. It's like it's so nimble. This is like the perfect, this kind of feels like, kind of feels like the 16X a little bit in its power. This definitely has a lot more power than the S18. It's a lot more stable than the S18 because it's a little bit heavier. But hell, I feel really confident to take this on the main roads and shit. Just the cruise and shit like that. 
I'm gonna kind of slow down for this guy behind me. Okay, this could be dangerous. So we'll go over this way. Yeah, dude, I, I'm liking this wheel, man. I'm gonna see how it feels going down hills with this and see what the pedals feel like. Oh, it feels like, feels good. Believe it or not, I think I like this better than the veteran Sherman. I think I like it better than the Sherman. Curb. Oh yeah, feels good going over curbs with this thing. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Now it doesn't go too fast, but I got the limiter on, uh, not the limiter, but uh, the thing set to 34. This will be last, my last time coming through here. Hey, right, here we go. Let's do these bumps in the road again. Oh, a little bit of a hill here. Ooh. It takes a little effort to get up the hill, but you can feel the pedal kind of like trying to match the angle of the hill, which is really nice. Bump. Yeah, dude, this is this is this is the perfect street wheel that I've ever owned, guys. This is made for the for the street. You know, I don't know how the people who are extreme riders feel about this thing, but it feels really good on the street. Um, I could take this off road to one of our trails here. But I'm not doing it today. I'm filming this video in segments. So we'll do some off-road in the next episode. So yeah, I'm pretty confident that this is a good street wheel. Fucking windy as all hell out here. Very windy, guys. Okay, let's practice our controlled stops here. Kind of have to bend down just a little bit. Let's do this again. It helps when you have these pads on so you can anchor your leg and not slip. And I'm going to do another controlled stop. I'm going to kind of sit down a little bit. There we go. Pretty cool, guys. Um, I think what I'll do in the next video is going to be all off-road. So I think we're going to conclude this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. This is really, really good wheel, guys. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, the summary of the story is, do you really need the best wheel that releases the same year? First production, do you really need it? You know what I mean? A lot of people are going to say yes, but... My opinion is just wait. Get something that was released the day, uh, year before or the year uh, prior to that. Something that's been tested a little bit more. And uh, I'm happy, guys. I'm happy with this. So thank you all for watching. Wilson, signing out.